So, hello, April. How are you? Very well, very well, <laughs> because I'm here with you. Uh, I feel like you say that to all the porn girls. Uh, no, I mean, I never say I hate to be here with right, you, right. but then I say nothing. It's always, <laughs> yeah, it's always going to start on a positive foot. Yeah, and if I don't like it, I just don't say anything. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so, how are you? Um, great, just got engaged. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, I like to show it off and tell people that I just got engaged, so I'm excited is... for this opportunity to once again brag about it. Yeah. I was listening to the interview you just did with uh, Mike Quasar. Oh, yes. And so I, I, I heard you're from New York. Yeah, yes. Well, I had a stint there. I had a, like, a, I lived a year and a half there. Mm -hmm. I moved there after college because I always had a fantasy of living there, and it was amazing. Yeah? I loved it so much. I thought I was going to live there forever, but not much of a porn industry. Yeah. And so here we are. Let's they have go. a big swinger scene. Yeah, there's definitely other aspects of sex work you can get into in New York. Yeah. Like, I mean, not work. I, I, I've only been to New York once, and many years ago, maybe 30 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, I met this uh, swinger couple in, on vacation in France. Nice. And uh, I had a business trip uh, to, to the US. I was working in IT, and I said, hey, if, so I stopped by, I spent a few days yeah. uh, at their place, and they told me to parties every night. Lots was, of freaky people in New York. It's, yeah. it's, it's a lot of fun. That's why I felt right at home, because I felt like I was just with other like-minded people like myself, you know, who just want to have fun and no strings attached kind of fun. So let me uh, properly introduce you. April Olsen is your uh, poor name. Yes. Uh, and where can people find you when they want to look you up? Okay, I do have an OnlyFans, April Olsen XXX. Um, I have an Instagram, April X Olsen. Mm -hmm. And my Twitter is at AO Strap Queen. Okay. I like to peg. Okay, good, <laughs> good to know. Uh, it's not my thing, but good to know. People say that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I maybe if know, you want to really know, go out, and I, bang. I know a lot of guys who like it, so feels good. Uh, so the G spot is all the way in the back. Okay, so I'm gonna show you Twitter because that's what I use most. Yeah, me too. Uh, and people can go from your Twitter page. I guess you have links to everything. Yes. And, yeah. Yep, you can find all my stuff there. Just I love I love Twitter, uh, Twitter uh, other than Instagram. I also have an Instagram, but I don't do much with it yeah. because you can post any, anything on anything Twitter. Anything you want on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I, I can get a better idea of who my fans are, though, on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So I definitely just kind of see who's commenting, see what they're like. You know, it's just a little more personal. Yeah. Twitter okay. Twitter's a lot of, like, um, burner accounts, you know? People just have just for porn. I don't know. It's all good. They all have their merits. Okay, good. <laughs> um, so how long are you in porn? Mm, not too long. This is still my first year. Oh. Um, yeah, I guess my first, well, yeah, because September. And then I was self-booking for a while. And then I moved to um, Los Angeles, got on with Spiegler in March. And so the, my, my quality of shoots have gone up since yeah. joining him. I know Mark Spiegler almost as long as you're alive. Probably. Yeah. Long time. Guy's been around for a while. Yeah. And He's good I, at his job. Yeah. He, yeah. I met him in Europe many, many years ago before I came here to work in porn here. Mm -hmm. um, back then, they had a porn section at the film festival. Mm -hmm. So all the Hollywood stars there, were there. And, and, uh, uh, and then we had our little porn area in the Palais de Festival. Love it. And that's where I met Spiegler the first time. <laughs> He's been around for quite some time. Yeah. I hope AVN happens this year. I've, uh, never, I've never been to one, but I know that's kind of his thing. Yeah, it, it, it is fun. It it's is fun. fun. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. It's good like when you're party. new. When you're new, I remember the first time I came to the U.S. to work in porn. Uh, I, I went to AVN and introduced myself to everybody. So it's good for business. Mm -hmm. And later... After a while, everybody knows you, and yeah. then it's just hanging out, partying, yeah. and then yeah, the circle party. bar, and uh, yeah. Can't wait. I hope, I hope it happens. I hope so very much too. And uh, you're wearing my shirt because uh, shirt because I asked her to uh, cover up a little and for I have nothing. for I'm not for even YouTube. in the clothes that I brought in. Yeah, so <laughs> she has very very sexy lingerie underneath, but uh, it's YouTube, so guys, we cannot show that. No, yeah. uh, but you can uh, watch the scene later. Uh, don't ask me where it's going to be because I don't know. <laughs> it's a secret. Yeah. I don't really know. I just kind of show up and yeah. I'll, I'll see it on Twitter months yeah. later. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's where that scene is. Yeah. People ask me sometimes on YouTube, where can I find the scene? I don't know. I said, 
I, I don't follow release date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes we shoot our own stuff. You mentioned uh, OnlyFans. I also have an OnlyFans. Yeah. Maybe one day we uh, do something on OnlyFans. So right. that's uh, look up her own stuff. Uh, and if you like, look up my own stuff on OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we were all so scared a few weeks ago because uh, OnlyFans announced that they're not showing any sexual I know, content. I know. And Did you feel a bit of relief when that happened? Just for a moment? Like, oh, no, I don't want to deal with this fucking platform anymore. Yeah, because it, it, it was so <laughs> stupid. It was so ridiculous. You yeah, know? yeah. But they'll, they won't do it. But it's okay. Yeah. Sex workers are crafty, you know. Mm -hmm. If one thing shuts down, we'll figure out something Oh, else. we will figure out. I mean... Uh, listen, uh, sex work in the widest way from strippers to porn stars to whores to whatever it is, uh, uh, we always found it, even in countries where it's illegal. Yeah. Uh, I once visited Iran, of course not for porn. Mm -hmm. uh, it was in my former uh, uh, job. It's a very super religious state. You are not even allowed to walk next to a woman when you're not related to her or, or married, married uh, to her. But they found, a, they found a solution. You can marry for a limited time. So you can, you can marry somebody with an expiration date. Can be for a year, can be for an hour, whatever. And then you're legally married. Ah, so you can have sex. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's very similar to getting a hotel room for by yeah. the hour hotel room. Yeah. <laughs> by the hour marriages. Great. Yeah. But you can say we marry for five years and then, it, then, then it expires. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. So there's always ways around it. Of course there are. Okay, today we have a scene focused on your ass. Correct. Uh, and um, I was listening a, a, a little bit to your other interview. Uh, how do you feel about anal sex? Um, uh, something that I learned on the job, Yeah. you know, because, um, it's not something I really practiced before in my previous life, maybe just a little bit here and there, but it's, you know, I've got my routine down. I know how to prepare for it, to warm up for it and then let myself enjoy it while mm -hmm. it's happening. It's not so scary. It's not mm. scary, you know. And it's, it's also, natural. it's also for some people a way around, we were to uh, talking about prostitution or sex work, yeah. finding a way around. A lot of girls, religious girls, either Christian or Muslim, they, love anal. Uh, they do anal because they want to stay virgins. And I, I kind of agree, you know, I, yeah. think I think it's a great loophole. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, there is actually, look it up on YouTube. Uh, there is a video called a, a song, The Loophole, about anal sex. It's a great music and hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever watched it? No, but I'll check it out for, okay, for it's, research. It's, 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 uh, it's one of my all-time favorite YouTube clips. Thank you. I'll check it out. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, sometimes I do an interview before and after the scene, but we're going to be out uh, fast. So yeah, I Quasar thought, today. So yeah, Quasar is like... In and out. He's probably pissed about this right now. L literally. No, no, he's, he's always, he never said no when I asked him if I can do that. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm going to take a quick shower because I'm sweaty. I just had a scene before. I'm going to put some butt plugs in, my, in myself and okay, that sounds do my kegels and stretch and we'll be good to go. sounds romantic. If you need me to uh, uh, stretch out, to, to warm up, then <laughs> let me know. Thank you. Okay, and uh, I don't see you, but you see me again here on uh, Steve Holmes Porn on YouTube. Do you put porn in your username? Yeah, nice. that's my, my YouTube name, Steve Holmes Porn. Good for them. I, yeah. couldn't, I couldn't even put XXX in Instagram. And I have 75,000 uh, subscribers so far. Yeah, okay. uh, usually, most clips have around like five to 10, 20,000 views, but uh, some, I don't know why exceed, like the, the most popular has, has over 8 million views so far. It's, it just happens like yeah. that sometimes. Yeah. Nice. Okay, let's see, uh, maybe we get some millions with you. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> okay, see you, bye. bye. Okay, that's Thanks, it. Thanks, Steve. Thank you.